Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What the Funk. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can query and get information about blocks on Ethereum using Go. Before we get started, go ahead and click subscribe to this channel and click on channel notifications to receive updates for when I post new videos. All right, let's get started. All right, as you can see, I've created an empty directory called query blocks. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the Ethereum Golang library is installed. So in order to do that, we use the go get command and we basically download the Go Ethereum library from GitHub. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to skip it. The next thing I want to do is open up my code editor, and we're going to create a new main.go file. We're going to declare our package as main. We're going to create a main function. And the first thing I want to do is create a client that will actually talk to the Ethereum network. So I need to import the eth client from the Go Ethereum library. So we've imported that. Next we want to connect to a node. And we're just going to use the Infura mainnet node. If you didn't know, Infura.io provides free uh, access to individual nodes for the different Ethereum networks. So you can actually connect to the mainnet, uh, Robsten, Rinkeby, all the different test networks, as well as uh, they also have an IPFS node. And I think they have a Swarm and Whisper node, but I'm not too sure. But check out Infura.io for details. So we're just going to add the mainnet. And then if there's an error, we're just going to log it and close out. Okay, the next thing we want to do is actually start querying blocks. And there are a number of different ways to do this with the Go Ethereum library. Uh, the first way we're going to do this is by grabbing a block header, getting the block number from that header, and then querying the information on that actual block. And the way we do this is using the client.header by number function. And we're just going to create a header variable, error variable, use client.header by number. It takes a context. If you don't know what a context is, go ahead and review um, the Go documentation because context is, context is actual widely used um, type in Go, and uh, this is not really a Go tutorial. So we're just going to take a context it's going to run in the background and you can actually specify a block number if you want a specific block number but we are just going to pass nil and it's going to grab the latest block number again we're going to check for an error oh man I can't type today And then we're going to assign the block number from this header. And from that block number, we can actually grab the block by its number. So block 
error client block by number. This also takes a context. And then we're just going to pass the block number. Check for errors, of course. And now we have access to all sorts of different information about the block. So we can do things like print the block time, uh, difficulty, block hash, and even the number of transactions. So we're just going to do it like this. I'm just going to copy and paste for speed's sake. So if we run this, we get the block time, block difficulty, the block hash, and the number of transactions in that hash. We're just going to go ahead and copy this hash Go back to our code, get rid of all this, and now we're going to query a block by its hash. So to grab this next block, we're going to create another block variable, error variable, client block by hash. This takes a context as well. And then we're just going to pass the hash. We can't just pass it as a string. We actually have to pass it as a type hash. So we're going to use this common.hex to hash. And then we can just paste the hash. Again, check for errors. And then we can go ahead and print out all the information like we did before. Now, if we run this, we get all the same information as before. And that's it. That's the basics of querying blocks on Ethereum using Go. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.